Hello, I'm Matt, Product Manager for NI Insight CM. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can define what it is that you're monitoring. To define that, we'll go ahead and click on the Assets page. This on our left side is what we call the Asset Tree. This is what we can define where everything is and what it is that we're monitoring. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Add button here. On this new asset dialog, we have a couple different options that we can select from. A location, which will define where everything is. We have some built-in equipment types, as well as a variety of built-in sensors, both dynamic and static type sensors. I'm going to go ahead and add a location. I'm just going to call it Austin. We'll hit OK. And it added it to the tree here. So to add something under this, I'm going to go ahead. I've got Austin already selected. I'll add something this time. Let's add a rotating equipment with tachometer. There are certain pieces of equipment that will automatically add sensors. In this case, a tachometer or its speed sensor was added automatically with this rotating equipment. So on the right side here, we have a variety of properties that are associated with the currently selected item. In this case, the only property is our speed reference, which has already been linked to our tachometer. Other ways that you can add items to your tree, specifically other sensors or even equipment, is you can right-click on the item and add child assets. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and let's add some accelerometers. We can also choose to add multiple accelerometers at the same time, so I'm going to go ahead and add four accelerometers. We've added four accelerometers, and you'll note that we have a variety of different properties here uh, which we can add in. Because I have four of the accelerometers selected at the same time, I will be editing the properties for all four of those together. If you decide that you like to move this or even to add a new parent, let's say that we're in Austin, but I, I need to actually be a little bit more specific about where I am, we can add a new parent and it will move everything in the tree for us. There's also all these other options to remove, which will delete. Uh, you can also move or copy. And a nice feature is that you can also save as a template. And what that'll do is that will allow you to define all of your settings in advance, save the equipment along with its sensors, and then add this at any point in the future. So in this case, I've called it rotating equipment with four accelerometers. I go ahead and save this. And now what I can do is I can add a child asset to this node, navigate down to the templates, and there's my template. And when I add it, you'll note that it adds it with all of the properties as well as those sensors. So using this tree, this is how we can define what it is that we're monitoring and with what sensors that we're monitoring. In other videos, we'll explore some of the other tabs that are present when you select various options in the tree.